Our book of the month of February is a Lent book and it's The Journey by John Pritchard. John Pritchard, uh, Bishop of Oxford until last year when he retired, the author of a lot of books, um, you probably know some of them, Ten, Living Faithfully, How to Pray, Living Jesus, Going to Church, A User's Guide, to mention just some of them. They are very popular books at Sarah College Bookshop. Uh, they're clearly written and we often recommend them. The Journey is written from the perspective of John, the beloved disciple, and it is a story for every day of Lent, Monday to Friday, and then a poem on Saturday. The first one is by Iris Thomas, um, but there are a variety of poets that are used. And then Sunday, uh, we're left to reflect on our own. The book has been reviewed by our reviewer, Norma Ferguson, and she liked the book very much. And she talks about this device of telling the story through John's eyes. And she says that this allows Pritchard to explain the background to things that Luke expected his readers to understand, like references to scripture or to the complexities of temple politics, as well as sharing insights of his own. But it also helps us to see Jesus from a different perspective, including the embarrassment of his disciples when he abused his position as a dinner guest to lecture his hosts. I'm surprised he was ever invited back. Such was the controversy he sometimes caused, she quotes. The irritating way he left loose ends to his stories so that they had to work them out for themselves. How he sort of hummed with life, his capacity for anger as well as love. So to give you an idea of the style of the book, I thought I would just read you the first paragraph um, for Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> so this is John speaking. I suppose we should have expected it. But even then, I'm not sure we'd have realised how significant this moment was. We, that's me, John, and a group of friends, were getting ready to set off after breakfast, as we had done so often before, saying goodbye to our hosts and checking we hadn't forgotten anything, when Jesus called us together in the yard and said, quite calmly, but looking each of us in the eye in that penetrating way of his, we've been here long enough, let's head for Jerusalem. That gives you a little bit of an idea of the, the way the book is written. And Norma finishes her review by saying, This is a book you can read like a novel, or share with friends, or use formally as a study course. However you read it, it will be a wonderful companion on your own journey of faith. So it's on sale at Serum College Bookshop. You can buy it online at www.serumcollegebookshop.co.uk or give us a ring or email or pop in um, if you think that you'd like that for your Lent book. Thank you.